Well, the Oklahoma Historical Society has been collecting materials since 1893 when we started collecting newspapers. Today, because we started so early, we have 95% or more of all papers ever published, not titles, but issues, 33 million pages. Well, a collection that came in uh, between 1907 and 1910 was a collection that had been housed at uh, the penitentiary in McAllister, Big Mac. And Justin Jones was the director at the time, and Justin was concerned about the materials that had been collected in a little house outside of the walls of Big Mac. So Justin and I uh, went down there during the centennial. We looked at the archival collections, and included there was a large collection of fingerprint cards with photographs and data on the person's name, what was their crime, when were they brought into prison, other information such as religion, uh, race, where they were working within the prison system. These are original materials going back to 1905 on all these prisoners up to 1964. And so I looked at that and I said, this is endangered environmentally, not the right conditions, it's not protected, too many volunteers coming and going. So Justin and the Department of Corrections agreed to give that collection to the Oklahoma Historical Society. And we've had them ever since. Well, about two years ago, one of our volunteers said, I'm interested in that collection. Because you know, the 48% budget cuts the last nine years, we hadn't been able to do anything with it. And so the volunteer says, I want to work on it. So we set up a work table for him, and he has been going through taking the data off of the cards and doing spreadsheets. So name, hometown, uh, crime, dates of incarceration, and any other data that's on it. So a spreadsheet. We will then digitize all of these records, uh, about 80,000 documents in this collection, and we will eventually have it online. So someone can look in there and say, oh, that's my granddad or my grandma, or somebody you know in a town. That information will be accessible for scholars to go in and do a real study of the criminal justice system in Oklahoma.